guys, Naturally Nosy here, back again with another video, and today's topic is actually going to be about shea butter and all the awesome uses that shea butter has, and um, the main reason why I wanted to make this video is because a lot of people have been asking me about shea butter and like why you use it and why is it so awesome and why do you always talk about it, so I figured that I would just make a video about it and just answer those questions. So, um... First off, I would say that about 70% of my products already contain shea butter in it. And I've actually, well, products for my hair, of course, and like for like bodily products like uh, moisturizer, lotion, things of that nature, I don't really have to buy anything from like the pharmacy because I basically just stop using like everything. Like buying shea butter has saved me a lot of money when it comes to skincare products because I just don't need to use it anymore and like the shea butter I think I showed you guys before I use the all natural shea butter and it looks like that and it's it's not that bad like it's a pretty good amount this is 16 ounces and I think I probably got this for maybe like um maybe 10 or 12 dollars on Amazon and it's a good amount because like it lasts you for a good while like I think I believe I got this in the beginning of spring probably probably even before that because you don't really need that much of it and I guess I'll just talk about the skin properties that it's um, uses is for and um, I usually buy it from Amazon I got it in the spring and what I mainly use it for is for like um, to substitute like lotions and things of that nature because I feel like it I have extremely dry skin and I feel like lotions just don't cut it for me like I need something extra like my skin is OD dry <laughs> so I would just get the shea butter and just like get a little bottle and like I'm actually gonna show you guys about I'll be right back okay here's the bottle that I use and all I really do is just put a little bit of shea butter inside this bottle just like mash it inside and then I'll just add a little bit of olive oil to like you know get the mixture a little bit more liquidy and all I really do like in the cold months of course like now it's like an average nighttime weather temp is like 38 degrees so as you can see it's solidified right now like it's solid it's not going anywhere so what I mainly do is um you could either like if you have a radiator in your bathroom you could just put on your radiator and by the time you get out the shower it's liquid or what I do sometimes is while I'm taking my shower I just put it on the floor of the like the um shower stall and the running water that you use is warm so of course it's going to melt it so that's another way and the simple way, just pop it in the microwave for like about a good 18 seconds and here you go, you got liquid. So that's the main like thing that I use now. And the reason why I started using shea butter is because I was doing a lot of research because I terribly suffered from bad stretch marks. Like when I was like getting into my womanly figure, <laughs> I was I was like really, really, really suffering from stretch marks. And like I was always like, you know, like. I just never had to deal with that. So when I actually started like, you know, getting into puberty, my body started changing. I was like, oh, what is this? So I felt like I had to do some research and I actually seen that shea butter is actually really good at baiting stretch marks and like stopping them from happening. So um, I heard cocoa butter had worked at first, but like I had friends that were actually using it and they said they didn't really see an effect. So I did further research and I found shea butter. And I can tell you, like, I'm proof. It it worked. Like, I don't have any stretch marks. And the main places that I really have them, like, my waist has changed a lot. And I really, I had them really bad, like, from my waist down to, like, the middle of my thigh area. And they were, like, on the side. So I was like, I gotta, like, get through this. Like, this is not cool. <laughs> so I was using it for, you know, habitually every day when you get out the shower. You just, you know, apply it like you would. And I was like, well, I'm applying it to one area and it seems like it makes your skin really, really soft. Like when I tell you your skin is going to be soft, soft. So I was like, why not just apply it everywhere else? So I would just replace all my lotions with this. And let me tell you, like this keeps your skin moisturized until the next day. Like, especially if you, you know, take your bath late at night and like you go to sleep and you wake up the next day, like, you don't need to apply any type of moisturizer to your body at all because this is where it's at. I love this stuff. So that's my story with the whole shea butter thing. And um, I was doing some more research and I actually saw that um, 
It's also good with stretch marks. It's good for moisturizing your skin in cold months if you got dry skin like me. It's an awesome, like, really good lip moisturizer for, like, you know, when you're getting ready in the morning, you want them soft lips because you don't want cracked lips. Like, that's not attractive. So just apply a little bit to your lips. That's also really good. And I also saw that um for skin, like, if you suffer from acne or eczema and stuff like that, like, it actually helps in, like, you know, calming your skin and getting rid of the, if you have like um, scars, acne scars or eczema scars, or anything like that. And I also researched, let me read from my notes. It has a natural antiseptic property that fights off bacteria and it's an anti-inflammatory for like um, rashes and itchiness and things like that. So it's like shea butter is awesome for your skin. Like, please guys, get some shea butter. It's amazing. So if you're suffering from, I guess, acne or blemishes, eczema, stretch marks, like shea butter is really, really, really good. And it will definitely help you clear these things up. And um, a lot of people usually ask, well, like, how long did it take you to clear up your um, stretch marks or whatever? And I would say if you use it habitually, like for a good while, of course, like nothing's going to work overnight and you have to be constant. But I use it, I would say for about, hmm. Well, I wanted to get prepared for the summer, so I would say I started like in the fall, and then by the time summer hit around, my stretch marks were gone. So I don't know, we're probably like maybe four to five months, maybe about that time, and I think that's pretty good for something that actually works as opposed to all these different ads that are selling you crap, talking about heal your stretch marks in four days, and you know that's not true. So natural property that comes for. From the earth and will definitely help you with your cold physique and just making your skin look much more better um now moving on to hair you guys know I'm in love with shea butter when it comes to hair because of course it leaves your hair like really moisturized and it's just really good for shine all of that and like it's really good to have products that actually you know contain some type of shea butter because it's a natural product and you guys know it's awesome on moisture but the main thing that um a lot of people say that they're having a problem with is actually finding uh raw shea butter and the real one because like a lot of them are really concentrated with other products and there's like if you look at the the back of it it'll say like maybe like 14 percent real shea butter that's not really going to help you. So make sure, you know, you read your labels in the back and your ingredients and you get the real thing. And if you want to use it for the skin, you know, benefits, like I was saying, make sure you get the 100% organ. Like, okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. You see? See, 100% organic West African shea butter. What does that say? 16 ounces. And I got mine from Amazon. You can get it from Whole Foods stores. And I know sometimes I see, like, the street vendors, like, the way you know it's real is like, the way it looks is like a giant, like, I don't know, it's like a giant kind of nut shape. And like when they cut it open, all you see is like the yellow, you know, substance inside. And like, all they do is just peel it off and they just give it to you. Like, it's that, it's, you just get it like that. <laughs> and that's a way to determine if it's real. And of course, when you're, you know, you're shopping online looking for it, you could just look and see like, you know, show me a picture of the product. Is it real? Read the reviews. And there you go. You got the shape butter. And, um... I know that there was another, um, there's another one. There's a, a white kind, and my mom had tried it, but, um, for some reason, she didn't like it. I mean, I used it, and it seemed like, for me, it seemed like the white version of the shea butter is, like, it's a lot more buttery and smooth. Like, this one is buttery and smooth, too, but it's a little bit thick. Like, if you, let me see, how do I do this? It's a little thick. Like, as you can see, it's like a... You see, it has like a lot of like, um, resistance when you're trying to like, you know, crunch it or smooth it around. But with the white shea butter that she used, it was a lot buttery. Like it was real smooth. So I'm not really sure why she didn't like it, but I know that there's definitely two types of shea butter. And like, I guess you guys can try out the white one if you want, because I didn't really research it too much, but I think I might do that. So that's really like all I have to say about shea butter, like. It's good for skin, it's good for hair, it's good for like if you get cuts, bruises, scrapes, burns, rashes, like it's just an awesome product in one. It just has like so many benefits to it. So now you guys know why I love Shea Butter so much and why I'm always showing it to you guys and ranting and raving about it. And I hope that like you guys get some and incorporate it into your lifestyle because it's really good for like, you know, your skin and 
I don't know what else to say. Like, you gotta get something. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys in my next video. Shea Bud Love Forever.